Hey, what's up guys? So today we are going to explore a new custom ROM on our Redmi Note 8. This time we have a Rising OS 6.0 based on Android 15. And this ROM got few unique features which I haven't seen on other custom ROMs or even in stock ROMs. So let's explore this ROM. First of all, we will check Android version. It's about phone. And you can see the information here, the battery, chipset, and the resolution of the display and the space storage and RAM. So Android 15 as you can see, we have Rising OS 6.0 and this is a stable version for Redmi Note 8. And the security patch level is 5th of November 2024. So as you can see here, the setting panel is not really like Android 15, but still it looks good and also it is categorized as you can see here. And we do have big feature which introduced in Android 15 based ROM as you can see here, you can see that. And the ROM is performing really well as you can see it's pretty smooth in terms of network bluetooth and internet i haven't faced any kind of issue if you want customization you can go to personalization section and as you can see here all the personalization thing you can do and also there are a few other things like gesture you can go to gesture section three finger swipe you can take a screenshot without any kind of issue and also you can configure that to do something else as you can see here and also we do have three finger long press gesture you can configure that too and also we have shake gestures which is kind of new here and we also have typical customization like icon shapes and theming and all those things then other features like we do have private space which introduced in android 15 based rom so private space is there if you use you can turn it on and in terms of security and privacy we do have both face and fingerprint unlock and both of them works pretty well i uh, haven't faced any issue with them as you can see pretty fast and I haven't found any kind of delay in uh, walking the device from sleep. So rather than that, everything is pretty much similar. The new thing we are getting here is in the battery section. So if you go to battery section, there are few toggles are new here. First of all, RAM boost. I haven't seen this feature on any other custom ROM. So this is new for me here. And also we can see power mode here. So we can choose power mode, which is also kind of new here. And we have sleep mode. This is also kind of new so there are a few features which are new here and i haven't found this feature on any other custom roms in terms of battery backup it's pretty good no issue with battery backup and that's all what we are getting here in terms of setting nothing else in terms of application as you can see here this is a gfs build so we do have google application here and i did install call of duty here to try out we are getting MIUI camera. Actually, it is a ANX camera, which is a modified version of MIUI camera here. And it is a latest build of it. So it looks good as you see here. And it works perfectly fine. I did try everything actually like 48 megapixel video recording and also selfie. Everything I have tried, everything works perfectly fine. And if you want Gcam, you can install it. It will definitely work. And in the photo section, if you go, we do have unlimited photo storage. As you can see here, we do have unlimited photo storage. In terms of safety net, we do have safety net here. So you can use bank application here. So pass, pass. And if I go to check Google Play Protect certification, that is also available. So device is certified. So in terms of smoothness of the ROM, it is not really that great. It struggles a lot and sometimes it will reboot itself. And although you are getting some unique feature here, but the ROM is not really that good. Although it is a stable version, I don't really know who tested the ROM and released as a stable version. It is pretty much better still. And also in terms of gaming, it is really, really bad in terms of gaming. If anyone play games on their device, you should not try this ROM. It is like really bad and also as i said the device closed the game once rebooted the device when i was playing games so that's pretty bad for a rom which is saying that it is a stable rom so that's pretty bad rather than that i haven't found anything else actually it's been two three days i'm using this rom and one more feature it came with is that we can press and hold this and it will take a screenshot and search the content which is pretty much similar to circle to search but here you cannot circle it will search whole screenshot so that's also cool but as i said the rom is not really that much usable because it is randomly rebooting and it's not really that great experience uh, while gaming it will reboot itself so these are the issue but still if anyone wants to try the rom i will put the rom link in the description below by the way this rom is a dynamic partition rom so you have to flash a specific dynamic partition supported twrp then you can flash the rom so that's all about it 
Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.